hello there guys it's me again jenny here from just jenny journaling welcome back to my channel yeah um as i just explained from the um my share the um oh, bullet my bullet journal march pages i uh, thought i'd do a little flip through of some of the bits that i picked up recently um yes a couple of charity shop books or well three charity shop books one was another one uh the in the series of the pattern books the, that i remember i uh, in my last share um picked up one of three that i'd seen when i went back um it was the week of the storms so we didn't venture out very far and by the time i got back there really, there's only one left so i picked that one up i shall go through, through that with you but also a friend of mine very kindly to come across some old um, theatre programmes and he posted these out to me and they're beautiful so I just thought I'd run through some of these um, so these are old um, West End well no not all West End actually uh, theatre programmes vintage one this one was is that six sixpence or six shillings I'm not sure what 6D was um, and I'm not really sure on the date but what's lovely about these is the is the old ads that go along with these beautiful Owen and Owen. I do remember Owen and Owen actually. Pleasant shop store for pleasant shopping. This is 1950. Oh, Office Service Bureau, look at that. Temporary shorthand and copy typist supply. So my mum was a copy typist, and she did shorthand too. I was talking to a friend yesterday that she used to do it and sometimes she does some of her bible notes her um her talk notes in shorthand as well so this oh, absolutely gorgeous little piece of history sitting right there how lovely is that this one is from the adelphi uh it's in uh, the west end oh look at that look at that bless the bride so i don't know what the date is on that one roxy the watertight swim cap hmm but her bathing cap never got wet with saucy beach bonnet and well covered torso conventional modest she couldn't be more so the bell of the 70s minced to the sea hmm interesting very different from what we see today how gorgeous is that wedding gown <gasps> Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I haven't had a really good look at these. Um, I just popped them by and thought I would go through them with you guys. So this is the Palace Theatre, again, West, at Shaftesbury Avenue. I don't know what the date is on that one. No, I don't know what the date is on that one. Along with Norway. Debenham, so it's before Debenhams was Debenhams. Debenham and Freebody. I just love this vintage fashion. English Continental Restaurant, Yangtze, Ridgeways for Tea. Oh, absolute joy. What an absolute joy. So this is from the Adelphi again. Now this is obviously from a... I don't know where that's from, actually. So this is just a one... Yeah, so this is just a, like, a, like a flyer, really. Doesn't it? But they all seem to have this thing saying, if this is broken, if sealed broken, don't buy it. Columbia Records. Your Majesty's Theatre. Oh my. Maison Lions chocolates. One pound and half pound. Oh, absolutely. Binny Hale. How beautiful are these? All different scenes. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Well, I can't see a date, but absolutely gorgeous. So whoever these belong to did love the theatre. Gorgeous piece of um, history in our hands right here, isn't there? This is from Palace and Derby Castle Limited, Isle of Man. So 
Oh. The Gaiety Theatre from the Strand, cup in Greek. Earth Shepherds. Schweppes. Canadian Club. <gasps> that beautiful old car. Savoy Restaurant Afternoon Tea Dinner. The Claridge Dance of Orchestra of the Salisbury. A Man Who Came to Dinner. Know what the date is on that either oh my word this gives you an idea a bit of a uh did you notice uh in the event of an air raid warning an announcement will be made by means of an illuminated box sign installed immediately in front of the footlights patrons are advised to remain in the theater but those wishing to leave will be directed to the nearest official air raid shelter after which the performance will be continued for so long as is practicable my words, this is obviously Second World War. That's amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. Anyway, the magazine programme always enjoyed, never destroyed. Don't forget to bring the magazine programme. What fun. Look at these beautiful outfits. Beautiful outfits. And again, Theatre Gossip. Don't know. Ben Travers, licensed by Lord Chamberlain. London Hippodrome. This is a really nice one, isn't it? Uh, Bertha Belmore. Well, there's a name and a half, isn't it? There's a name and a half. Bertha Belmore. Physical perfection can be yours. Oh. Wow. Things haven't changed much, have they? In the years before in Instagram, but people still wanted to look as good as possible. Hashtag no filter. My Fair Lady, so Fridge Fresh, Angus McBean, for years and years, wow, Broadway Melodies, This one, South Pacific. Oh my, what a joy! What a joy! Theatre Royal Jewelry Lane. Go to your nearest Jaeger. UK to East Africa. Two flights each way each week. Way to make you look lovely. Also, oh, it's 1951. This one, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And thank you to my friend Hannah for those. It was really, really kind of her to think of us. Think of me. Anyway, so let's have a quick look at this one. I've got. I picked up three on that day. Um, it's from the same. Is it from the same? Da -da -da. Yeah, it was from the same little shop, uh, charity shop that um, one of my locals, 50p each. So this one, Print and Pattern Kids. I wasn't sure what the other one was. I couldn't really remember. Right, let's see. Make sure I've got it all in frame. I'm going to quick move through this. The other one was Florals. Do you remember what we got the other week? So these are all designers that do um, little kiddie things. A lot of fun. Oh, how gorgeous is that? How gorgeous is that? daughter's just been watching um, a movie called Wonder 
which she's obsessed with at the moment, about a little boy who has a face disfigurement. It's a really feel-good movie with um, Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson, and a friend of ours uh, recommended it to us. And he goes around in a oh, space helmet initially because of his um, face disfigurement and how embarrassed he was. And it's a really feel-good movie, but that reminds me of that. In fact, she's just... Um, Yeah, from friends and I, because it's World Book Day today, on the Home Ed Group, a lot of the mums have put things together. That's really nice, Theo and Lola. Um, name plates. have put together some special activities. And one of the activities is... Um, uh, oh, digital design. So one of the mums is showing uh, the little ones how to. They're going to go through making their own bestseller cover. I'm going to help them just pop it onto a little makeshift journal, make some exercise books stuck together. And uh, anyway, my daughter did hers yesterday and she put loads of different, you know, she put Cinderella, Aladdin, she put, and, and a little space helmet on the front of hers because it's one of her favourite stories at the moment. And it's lovely. Oh, look at this little one on skateboard. Love that. Love the tea cup, uh, the teacups. Cath Kids scrapbook, Cath Kids and Styling. Beautiful. A lot of lovely bits and pieces in here, aren't there? <laughs> oh, I love that. So again, you've got the um, the pages are a little bit shiny, so it's quite a modern take isn't it it doesn't look particularly vintage very fresh and shiny but a lot of fun they're fun aren't they oh, i love this little bus and how clever to reverse it so you've got the bus in white love that like that a little paper sample it's lovely to be able to put on the front of um Learning journals or project books, project books, timetables that's really lovely. Just covered my own book that I use for notes for upcoming projects with friends or from a daughter, things that she needs to research, different notes of where to find notes from different presentations and things so I've just done that covered a, a quite a boring big project book oh that's gorgeous with a nice image I'm gonna probably it's one of those ones with um you know the plastic dividers with tabs so I've cut the tabs off and I'm going to just staple some fabric tabs on in their place and got I think it's an old Daphne's diary page I popped on the front and um, a magazine page on the back. Like, these are gorgeous. How cute is he? Love this. Very all. Yeah, I was going to say all Achille. Very, you know, very distinctive style. What fun! These are actually really quite nice for inspiration, just for little figures to. Simple figures to draw, aren't they? That's nice. That's a nice idea. 
I like that a lot. Nice for envelope art as well. Be a nice art project to do with the kids. Just with colour block, colour blocking. Sparky and Marie. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. So, oh, lovely. So that's Wendy Burns. That's lovely. Rapunzel. These royal princesses, aren't they? So, so that was that one. Print and pattern for kids. So I'm really pleased with that. And then I went... This was sort of on the same shelf, so I thought, you know what, let's pick that up. Don't know what it's like, to be honest. Oh, ah, ah. So, let's just move this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Colour pattern. Beautiful playful exercises for exploring pattern design. Better, isn't it? Design repeats, the impact of pattern design, gathering inspo. What an interesting book. Start an inspirational inspiration journal, study a bouquet of flowers. Shoot or sketch ten. Ooh, ten patterns in nature. Thought is just starting new photography club with some friends. Inspiration, go shopping for samples. Oh, love that. Shoot or sketch 10 architectural patterns. What a lovely create an inspiration board. A really nice, um, these are really nice things to do when we're out on our walks with our cameras. I know my husband does quite a few of those kind of exercises. Play with doodle motifs, that would be nice for our journals. Um, with uh, my daughter because they both go out with their cameras and set themselves a little task to do. Explore ethnic motifs. Um, we've just got a looking at a um, what's his name? Co create conversational motifs. Oh, he's, isn't he cute? Convert hand-drawn motifs to digital. Meet the designer. Yeah, and then that's what's really nice about um, what we'll be doing today. Introducing the little ones to digital design. Um, we want it as a project we're going to be doing. Um, hoping to do um, for the summer term from April. Um using different design uh, art techniques to um, oh to uh, match um, in convention theme and different um, different ideas that we'll be looking at in the summer so we can look at maybe a little bit of blackboard art a bit of digital design a bit of collage just to get them experimenting with different things. I think that's going to be other successful collections. Oh, this is going to be an absolute keeper. Really great for some inspiration. Craft a story for your collection. Oh, explore multicolour palette. Well, this, I as I said, I picked it up and I thought I haven't really looked through it. I thought I'd look through it with you guys. Absolute, that's going to be so useful. That's going to be so useful. I think I'll be looking at putting that into practice in our project. Um, and the last one I picked up on that lovely day was this portrait of a country garden. It is huge, as you can see. Let's have a look. I don't know how old it is. Uh, 1980. 
1980 this one so let's see really lovely big pages the remembering garden beautiful poem <gasps> flowers fly in the january on january 1st so gorgeous 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 i know one of my friends um glory journal with law on instagram she um documents her bullet journal and also her bible journaling too and she always has lovely um poems or quotes to go with different images the flowers of january february and march the reawakening which i think this would be a lovely source book for how gorgeous look at this beautiful writing look at this beautiful writing what an absolute gem so for 50p i'm not gonna lie i'm really pleased with this this is going to be such a treasure to refer to when well, i've um got plenty of smaller like readers digest books and things that i can find the you know the corresponding flowers september and nice actually to pop into my bullet journal on a monthly basis perhaps have a little quote about the month on my page you know on my opening page oh do you know what? i love autumn and that's time for burning leaves do you know i um I, i've had come across a few of these kind of poems about clearing up the garden in the autumn i think it's beautiful flowers of october november and december oh how beautiful are these little snippets the explanation then of all the images and what the flowers are this paper is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so there you are guys um that is the latest it's lovely i'm really pleased with this i hope you enjoyed it too give me an idea down the bottom what your um, latest um charity shop finds or thrift store finds as you say in the states were or are um thank you for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do if you like. If you know, like and subscribe if you do. Um, and we'll see you another time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.